Hi everyone, my name is Romani. I run a Dudu Eats Instagram account and I'm a chef. And today I'm very luckily working with Neff to show you how to use a steam oven to make the perfect roast chicken. It's not intimidating and we're gonna spatchcock the chicken. I'm gonna show you how easy it is and all you need is a nice big chicken and a pair of scissors. Down the spine, you're gonna go with your scissors and you're just gonna cut. Okay. The spine has a lot of flavor. So like a rib, for example, a lot of fat, a lot of flavor. So we're gonna clean this. We're gonna rinse it all out. So you've opened the chicken. There she is. And you're going to very firmly just press your hand on the back of the chicken and you're just gonna wait for a little pop. And then that's been spatch cut. And so the purpose of this is you don't need to compromise cooking the breast of the chicken for longer just to cook the legs. You've now got a really flat surface and everything's gonna cook at the same time. And even better, it's not gonna take as long. So put the chicken on top, super simple marinade. We're just gonna salt the chicken all over. You wanna be really generous with the salt. Salt is going to extract moisture from the chicken and at the same time, tenderize and flavor your chicken. Okay, so your chicken has marinated for around 30 minutes. We're gonna prep the veg. Super simple, minimal ingredients. Don't worry about peeling them. The skin actually has a lot of flavor and you can just peel them off when it comes out. It's super soft and it's just less chopping. These are gonna go underneath the chicken and that's going to flavor it from the inside. We're going to cover the chicken and the onions in oil. The oil is important because it's gonna help the chicken crisp up and just give it a little bit of extra help with all that steam. And then this is gonna go into the oven. We're going to roast it at 160 for 40 minutes, crank it up to 200, get it nice and golden for 10 minutes. And then that's it, super simple. We're gonna do this with medium steam. So medium steam is going to make sure that the entire chicken stays super juicy and your breast is not gonna dry out. So you're not gonna to have to worry about any dry breast. And it goes. Then we're just going to, okay, so we're gonna click types of heating, circotherm, and I'm going to bring it to 160. And then add steam, we're gonna go medium. Tick, that's it. Chicken's ready. <gasps> oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh my God. It smells so good. So you can see all that chicken gravy and we didn't do anything to it. That's just the beauty of leaving that little chicken butt, the little chicken spine in the tray. So the super important part is the chicken has to rest. Just like any type of meat, when it's super hot, all of the juice is on the outside of the chicken. So if you don't let it rest, the juice can't distribute evenly all around the chicken and it's not gonna be as juicy. And you're not gonna get the benefits of the steam, all that heat, you need to let it relax. So we're just gonna let that relax for a little bit. So you have all of this amazing chicken oily graviness and I'm going to do sort of a riff off of a Heinie's chicken, one of my favorite chicken dressings. It's like a ginger spring onion sauce. Now give that a little mix. Get all those crispy bits in. They have so much flavor, so much savoriness. Now this is also another benefit of steaming. So usually if you didn't have the steam oven, all of this water would evaporate. If you have steam, you can keep it in there, but also intensify all the flavors of that water. And that's why there's so much gravy. This is the best part about cooking with steam because you get all the moisture from the steam, but then also you get the benefits of the oven, which caramelizes the meat at the same time. Literally the best of it.
Cheers.